All right, friends. How are you today? Happy Monday, starting the week off very strong. Why? Because the moon is in Capricorn. The moon is getting things done. All right, the moon in Capricorn is like, look, I don't have time to be emotional. I've got to go. I've got to do things, which is going to also mean we have an emotional um, repression right now, which will get released tomorrow, but that's not the point. We have to stay focused on today. All right, the lesson of today is staying focused on the now, being present in this moment, being here, right? I like Gary Vanderchuk. He's an interesting guy. Uh, and and I, I remember coming across this thing that he came out with not too long ago, and he said, you know, he's like, I'm busy. I, I you know, I schedule. Sometimes I have these little 15-minute increments. Sometimes it's 12 minutes is all I can get for when I'm doing a radio interview or a one-on-one -on -one with somebody or whatever it is. So he's like, when I've got these 15-minute windows of, of time to give to somebody, I am there. You know, I'm... I am, I'm right there. I have to be present. I have to be in this moment with them. I can't be filling around with my phone or checking my next email or seeing the next appointment. You know, it's just like, I have to give you all of my time and be here right now. And that is, that is the lesson of today. Let me show you the chart, what's going on here, because we've got the moon up in Capricorn here, creating this beautiful trine to Uranus. All right. So it's like the work that we do today gets us ready. I'm going to give you a glimpse, but just for a second. Oh, that's the eclipse for tomorrow. But we can't focus on that. We have to stay focused on this. Because if we don't get this work done, if we don't, you know, if we don't drive and get this stuff done, we have the fire right now. We absolutely do. And we have, you know, this, this, this faith in ourselves connection to get it done. Okay, but we have to stay focused. We have to stay focused. How many times are we in conversation with somebody and we'll check our phones, we'll check our email, we'll, we'll, you know, we're distracted by this thing over here. I literally had a conversation with somebody the other day, like, Aaron, how's everything going? Did you get to the move, you know, everything? And then, and as soon as I start talking, somebody walks up and their attention just completely went to this person. You know, it's just like if I'm doing this right now and all of a sudden I'm just like talking with somebody over here, it's like, well, I'm not. It's not very fair. It's not very, you know, reciprocating, right? We have to stay focused on what we're doing right here, right now, and not all the flashes going on around us, right? So sometimes we can get very comfortable, you know, around our home, around our closest friends, around our family members, and it's no big deal for us to just pull out our phones, you know, or, or we're doing one task and we're having one conversation, and then, oh, I'm responding to Steve or Amy or this or that or whatever is going on in our lives. It's like... One, you know, it's just like this, this day is really saying like, focus all of your time and energy on one thing at a time. And that's how, you know, one foot in front of another, we're relearning to walk right now. So just because you used to be able to run or fly, doesn't matter. It's like one foot in front of another is how we get through this breakthrough. It's not about the eclipse tomorrow. That's tomorrow. We can't live in this anticipation of that, you know. So it's like being here right now. And I'll be honest, it's like, you know, personal life, like as I'm an independent contractor, you know, just like if you're, you know, if you're uh, and own your own business, your landscape, or whatever it is, you know, it's like if I call and trying to get a, you know, landscaping done and all of a sudden you don't pick up, I'm the consumer. I'm going to literally call the very next number, you know, so there are moments and there are times where we have to say, whoosh, whoosh, Hey, I've got to take this. This is this is a business. And what will happen? There's times when we're in these conversations, and our friends will say, "Well, you know, what they'll realize." And it's just like, "Hey, give me just a moment. Let me take care of this and finish this. Put all of my time and energy into to wrapping up this email, wrapping up this this text that's a business or whatever this is, and then." I can give my time back to you and then, you know, and then stay focused. This is so very important as to where we're going. Uh, in the age of Aquarius, hum humanly, hum humanitarian, whatever. I don't know why. Like, I can't think of that word right now and I'm usually pretty sharp. <laughs> uh, you know, we, it's like we have to have human to human connection here is so very important. Uh, I saw this thing a couple of years ago and it's sad this is years ago and we're going to, it's only going to worsen. It's only going to worsen on one end as, as another end here, you and I, you know, as we kind of go to the core of things and, and connect, there's going to be a group of this age of Aquarius people that are so in their phones, so in virtual reality, so disconnected with humanity. <laughs> was that the word I was trying to find? I don't know. Uh, you know, that, so people are so disconnected. So that there's this... Um, like Asian eating thing that people will all watch this, you know, people eat food, you know, so these guys will all watch these girls eat food. 
and they had like these 15 guys or whatever, they actually won an opportunity to meet their favorite woman eating food. And they all, they're all around this big, long, you know, like family style table, like those giant German tables, right? The beer halls. And as this girl is eating food, she's on her phone casting her eating and all the guys are watching their phone eating watching her cast okay so even though the human being was right in front of them they their mind was so used to this false reality or this altered place of reality that this is where they were at okay they weren't in the moment they weren't present here to see what's going on around them you know, so it's like, hey, there's a waiter coming over here and he's about to fall and, and his entire tray of boiling hot whatever soup is going to go all over you, but you're so in this instead of being in the room, being aware, being present. So all of this, these stories, that's what this energy is saying, like, hey, if we are here right now doing the work today, being in this, we get this beautiful breakthrough. You know, and that beautiful breakthrough leads to another, another, and another, and another, and another, and another, and another. And then eventually, we get to the eclipse tomorrow. And then we can talk about it then. So right now, stop watching me. Go do your thing. We'll see you tomorrow.